Beloved Masters, as you move forward on the path of enlightenment, you will come to a better understanding of cosmic law and the workings of the universe. We welcome the opportunity to, occasionally, give you a better understanding of some of the concepts of creation and the complexity of the physical vessel. Therefore, we would like to give you an in-depth explanation of the composition of the etheric body and its importance in the process of ascension. The etheric body or etheric web, which is much finer in substance than the earthly body, refers to the invisible counterpart of the physical body. The etheric body is composed of the physical aura, which conveys your physical state of health via various colors, as well as the distortions, or lack thereof, within the etheric web pattern. The emotions of pain, suffering, and resentment are thought forms which are keeping you from embracing and becoming the bearer of light you were meant to be. The auric field is the invisible electromagnetic force field that surrounds the physical body. It magnifies energy to you and radiates vibrational frequency patterns from you. The aura of the mental body within the etheric web is almost non-existent in those who are trapped in the restrictions of the third and lower fourth dimensions, because they see the world and events through a filter of illusion created by their past beliefs, thoughts, and actions. When existing in a third and fourth dimensional environment, the dominating force within the emotional body is the astral plane. Therefore, a vast majority of people are under the influence of their base personality and the ego desire body, which is composed of unfulfilled yearnings from the past, as well as emotional imbalances and feelings of being unworthy or unloved. One of the most dramatic phases of the ascension process is moving through the distortions of the emotional mass consciousness belief system into the stability, freshness and harmony of the higher dimensions. Never forget, fear takes away your power. The general mass consciousness belief system is powered by negative, hostile thinking and resistance to new concepts and change. The majority of the masses are frozen in a reality of pain and suffering, but are unwilling to entertain new expansive ideas, which would relieve them from their self-imposed prison of limitation. It is vitally important that you stay firmly grounded and balanced within the accepted range of duality, while functioning within the reality of the final phases of the third dimensional environment. You must also strive to establish emotional harmony and serenity within the illusionary world of the fourth dimension, as you seek wisdom and endeavor to become acclimated to the mental plane of the lower fifth dimension. You must be ever alert for the whispers of your soul and higher self. It is also important that you understand that you do not have just one higher self, but many fragments or sparks of your higher self scattered throughout this sub-universe. The ascension process entails the gradual integration and assimilation of the next higher dimensional frequency facet of your higher self. You are in the process of expanding your light and your conscious awareness. Your transformation into self-mastery, as well as the ascension process, will be greatly accelerated once you have expanded your personal lifeline of light, an etheric tube of light, which is your core connection to your divine I Am Presence. You are also in the process of re-establishing your connection to the river of life via your personal Antakarana, Rainbow Bridge of Light, which contains the pure creator essence called Adamantine Particles. Over the many past ages, humanity has diminished the connection to the river of life and light so that, in most people, it has become only a small trickle. Each of you has a sphere of radiance that is produced by the vibrational patterns of your auric field and your soul song. Ascension means bringing the total bodily chakra system into balance, which will facilitate the clearing, refining and balancing of the etheric body and auric field. Your goal is to return your etheric body and auric field to their perfect divine blueprint, which is the human blueprint for your original bodily form called the Adam Eve Cadman Light Body. We observe you via the bands of color within your multiple body system, physical, mental, emotional and etheric, which have been created by your thoughts, actions, and deeds, throughout your many lifetimes down through the ages. 
Your energetic signature is composed of the vibrational frequency patterns you emit day by day via your thoughts, actions and deeds. Your energetic signature can vary greatly when you are functioning within a third and fourth dimensional environment. However, as you progress along the path of enlightenment, your energetic signature gradually becomes more harmonious and melodious, and it eventually becomes a part of your permanent soul song signature. Your soul advancement is monitored by the frequencies of your soul song, and not by your daily actions. Your soul song is composed of mid-fourth and higher dimensional vibrational patterns of unconditional love, wisdom, balance and harmony. As a self-master, your energetic signature and your soul song will merge into a celestial mandala of sound and color, by which you will be identified in the higher realms. You are recognized by the brilliance of your inner light. The more light essence you incorporate into your physical vessel, the more brilliantly your aura will glow. The Holy Spirit or your higher mental self is the discerning higher intelligence which monitors and regulates the light infusions and the gifts of spirit that are allotted to you according to your level of spiritual awareness and your present needs. Special dispensations are also monitored and dispersed by your holy mental self, which is the intermediary between you and your I am presence, God self. Meditation helps to discipline the lower mind and the ego so that you may attune consciously to the musings of your higher mind. It takes patience and discipline to stop the mind chatter that is the norm for those closed off from their higher consciousness. We encourage you to practice active and passive meditation. A decree or affirmation is a prayer with power. It should be a concise, positive affirmation expressed with confidence and the assurance that it will be manifested in the proper form at the appropriate time. If the affirmation is sent forth with loving intent for the greatest good, you are aligning your will with that of your higher self, and universal law will assure that your co-creator thoughts and aspirations will be combined with those by others of like mind. Thus, they will be increased in strength and power. Silent meditation is listening for an answer from your higher self your guardian angel, or the Holy Spirit. Remember, one person who is centered within their sacred heart and sacred mind can convey cosmic truths and inspired thoughts to millions of people, while the loving vibrations of their auric field bless everyone with whom they come in contact. Serenity and joy are qualities of the soul. Intelligent love results when the soul becomes the dominating force within, and the ego personality has been brought under control. When you successfully dissolve the membranes of light guarding the entrance to your sacred mind, you gain access to your personal storehouse of divine wisdom. Allow us to give you a recap of a few of the many symptoms of ascension, which you, the initiates on the path, are experiencing at this time. You find yourself withdrawing from social activities and events that were pleasurable in the past. Loud noises, crowds and boisterous activities disturb you, and you yearn for seclusion, and perhaps, the serenity of nature. As your vibrational frequencies lift and become more harmonious, you will disengage from interaction with people, events and places that emit lower discordant frequencies. Also, gradually, you will have less and less in common with certain friends and relatives, especially those who are negative judgmental and unkind to others. You may have intense bursts of energy whereby you can hardly stay still, and sometimes, you may feel so light inside that you barely feel your bodily form. At other times, you may feel so weighed down that you are almost sinking into the ground, and you may experience extreme fatigue. Your bodily form is going through an intense metamorphosis at an etheric and cellular level and some of the transformational symptoms are not pleasant, especially for those who are existing in an older or somewhat debilitated bodily form. As the Kundalini, sacred fire, begins to rise up your spinal column, the etheric tube of light, you may experience times of intense inner heat, while your exterior body feels cold and even clammy. Initially, 
that is the reason why it is best to strive for a gradual release of the Kundalini fire stored within the root chakra, at the base of the spine, so that, you may slowly integrate the higher frequencies of God light. Faster and more are not always better when you are in the midst of the transformational process of ascension. For those in the early stages of the process, the experience of integrating some of the refined light frequencies will not be overly dramatic. However, for those stars eat who are well on their way within the ascension process, those who have agreed to be world servers and help to clear the path for others, it can be a formidable and ongoing process as they integrate higher and higher frequencies of light to share with others. You may feel as though you are on a mental roller coaster as you experience many emotional ups and downs. You are tapping into and releasing much impacted energy and discordant frequency patterns from a deep cellular level. It is vitally important to allow these feelings to come to the surface so they can be transmuted into refined light substance. It is important that you learn to become an observer of what is occurring, as you objectively view, process and rectify, with loving patience and understanding that which is being revealed to you. Your eating habits may change drastically. Whatever you choose to eat, follow your inner guidance and monitor how your body feels after you have ingested anything. Your body elemental or inner body intelligence is awakening, and if you will pay attention, it will direct you to the proper food and diet. Always remember, Moderation in all things is the key. You may have many strange aches and pains, for which there is no definitive diagnosis. There are many minor chakra and meridian points within the physical body. As the higher frequencies of light try to flow throughout the body, they can meet resistance at these critical junctures, which can cause discomfort. One of the most common areas of distress is in the area of the spinal column of the upper back between the shoulder blades. You may feel as though you are losing your mind or at least your memory. There are multi-dimensional levels within the brain, so as you lift your frequency patterns, the lower levels of the brain will gradually be refined. Therefore, you will no longer need or be able to access much of your negative past history, as well as much of the trivia you have stored therein. You will be gaining access to the higher levels of the brain where your sacred mind dwells. The unification between the sacred mind and the sacred heart is an integral part of the ascension process. Beloveds, you must admit, it is an exhilarating time to be in the physical vessel, and yet your physical vessel is struggling to keep up with the ever increasing frequencies that you are integrating moment by moment and day by day. Many of you who have not suffered colds, the flu, or intestinal disturbances for many years are again experiencing these debilitating symptoms, and some of you ask, what am I doing wrong? You are not doing anything wrong, my brave friends, it is what you are doing right that is causing some of these uncomfortable bouts of bodily distress. We acknowledge the fact that these occurrences are not pleasant to experience. However, we wish to give you another facet of truth to ponder on. Again, many of you who are deeply immersed in an accelerated transformational process are experiencing these uncomfortable symptoms as a way to quickly transmute the old negative energies within your physical vessel. You could call it a transmutation or baptism by fire, a burning and releasing of old frequency patterns to allow the higher more refined crystalline cells of consciousness to infiltrate and take dominion within. Not all viruses are bad, nor are all the uncomfortable symptoms you are experiencing. See them as a means to an end and serving a higher purpose. These things, too, will pass, dear ones. We ask you to nurture yourselves. To pay attention as never before to your physical vessels and the signals or messages your wise body elemental projects to you. How will you enjoy the beautiful world of love, joy, and abundance you are creating if your precious physical vessel is not vibrant and healthy? Join us in your personal pyramid of light, beloveds, and allow us to assist you to move through the process with ease, grace, and also, great joy.
May the radiance of our Father Mother God pour down upon you and fill you with the light of life everlasting. Know that we are ever near to guide and protect you. I am Archangel Michael.